Now let's look at the inverse variation. Let x and y denote two quantities, then y varies inversely with x. If there is a non-zero constant k such that y equals k divided by x, k is called a inverse variation coefficient. In the previous section, we have learned some of the key function, right? One of it is y equals 1 over x. We call it reciprocal function. Okay, let's recall reciprocal function. The graph is look like this. Okay. So inverse variation is just like a basic function, reciprocal function, multiplied by a constant k. Okay, multiplied by a coefficient. So here is the graph, very similar as the reciprocal function. Okay, y equals k divided by x, 1, x greater than 0, x greater than 0. That is the graph. So now let's look at an example. Okay, how we construct a model use inverse variation. So look at this figure. This figure is shows the maximum weight W can be safely supported by a two by four inch piece of pine very inversely with its length W. Experiments indicate that the maximum weight that a 10 foot long two by four piece of pine can support is 500 pounds. Write the general formula relating the maximum weight W to length L. Find the maximum weight W that can be safely supported by a length of 25 feet. So the first sentence of this problem tells us the relationship between the two variable weight W and the length of the wood L. It says this two variable, what's their relationship? Varies inversely, right? So when we read this sentence, we can write a way to write an inverse variation model, which is W, which is the maximum weight, equals K divided by L. L stands for the length of that two by four piece of pine the pine wood. Okay, so first sentence, we can set up the model like that. And then the next sentence is given us one instance. Okay, so we can use that to solve for the coefficient k. It says, experiment indicate the maximum weight that a 10 foot long, this wood, can support 500 pounds. So that means when W equals 500, okay, and that the length is 10 foot long, right? So plug in this two value into our model. So we have 500 equals K times L, which is 10. So now we want to solve for the K, the inverse variation coefficient. So K equals 500 multiply by 10, we got 5,000, right? So now we can update our formula. We have W equals 5,000 divided by L. So we done write a general formula relating maximum weight W to length L. And then next, we need to find a maximum weight W that can be safely supported by a length of 25 feet. So if L equals 25, and then we're, the problem's asking what is the maximum weight W. So we plug in L equals 25. W equals 5,000 divided by L equals 25. So we can easily get 200 pounds. Right? 200 pounds. And we can also graph this problem. 
because based on what we already know from the problem, we actually identify the two points, right? When the wood is 10 foot long and a support maximum weight 500 pounds, and then when the wood 25 foot long, and then we support maximum 200 pounds. And then we can set up rectangular coordinate system. X axis use the length of the pine wood. And then the Y axis using the maximum weight. And then we can easily plot these two points 10, 500, 25, 200. And then we know reciprocal function graph is this kind of curve. So we use this smooth curve connect the two point. That's the brief graph we can plot for this model.